Hi, I'm Neil, and in this video, we're talking clothing for winter bushcraft. Stay tuned. Hi guys, in this video uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the clothing that I use um, in the winter when I'm out bushcrafting. One of the joys of living and working in the UK um, is that you never know what the weather is going to do. Uh, in the height of summer it can be pretty warm. Um, in the winter it can still be pretty warm, certainly compared to other places uh, within Europe and within the sort of northern temperate zone. But, it can change day to day. Um, for the last two weeks, the temperature hasn't really got above freezing. Hence this, uh, this big piece of ice. This has been here for two weeks um, and it's just not melting. So, our clothing needs to be fairly adaptable um, for use in the winter in a bushcraft environment. The other thing we have to take into consideration um, is that at this time of year, I've usually always got a fire going, uh, either just to get hot drinks, um, or for cooking on, uh, or for just staying warm. And when we're looking at clothing to use for bushcraft, that's quite an important consideration. Synthetic materials can cause us issues um, using them around flames. They will melt, uh, in some cases, they can actually burn quite well, of course, quite severe burns. So people tend to go for, for natural fibre clothing, um, cottons and woolens. Um, and in the winter environment, um, wool is really, really good. It's not affected as much by heat and sparks um, and flames, so it's less likely to melt and stick to our skin, but it will also keep us nice and warm, okay? And it will also keep us warm when it's wet. It's not as fast drying as synthetic materials, um, but it's a lot more comfortable to wear. And if you're wearing it for extended, period, extended periods, you don't need to worry about it smelling so much because it's a natural fiber, it doesn't pick up body odors. What I tend to use is, is just a light woolen shirt. Um, and that I use most of the year. In the winter I layer up a bit more with something underneath um, and I also have made up um, things like this. So this is a blanket jerkin and I've got a, a full blanket smock as well uh, which are, are very very good items of kit. Something else that I use, it tends to be only when it's really really cold like the, the last two weeks, um, is a particular type of jumper. And that jumper is one of these. This is a, a Daxteen guide pullover. Daxteen products, uh, they make a very famous woolen mitt. They come from an area uh, in Europe, Austria, and they make really, really high quality woolen clothing. And normally they're very, very expensive, but the Austrian military like the product so much uh, that they got Daxteen to make up a military contract of their Daxteen guide jumpers and this is one of those. They're made from 100% wool and the thing with Daxteen is that they then once the, the item is made up they shrink them so the wool is pre-shrunk. This gives it not only the ability to keep you warm when it's wet but it also helps to block out the wind so it's a semi-windproof garment as well. It's also got a very high collar, which rolls up nicely around the neck, um, and it buttons up. So you can undo the buttons if it's getting really warm, if it's really cold, do the buttons up. You can roll the neck over again, helping to seal that heat in. They're also cut nice and long, so that they cover the base of your back and the small of your back and your backside. Okay, so when you're bending, the da bending down, arranging things on the fire, you're not getting a cold spot on the back. 
with them being a military product, um, compared to Dakshin's original guide pullover, they, they militarise them. They put on shoulder patches, epaulets, they put on Velcro for people so that they could have their, their rank and their name slides on. They had great big chunky military green plastic buttons. So when I first got mine, I demilitarised it. I removed the epaulets, I removed the Velcro panels on the chest, I got rid of the big plastic buttons and I put on some nice chunky wooden buttons. As a result, what I think I've got is a pretty classic woolen winter garment. If you shop around in the surplus stores and, and um, on eBay, um, these can be picked up for quite a reasonable price. And they are an excellent, excellent garment. If you see one, get one. You won't regret it. So as you can see, really good practical item. Big collar that can be turned up to protect my, my neck, okay, uh, and even the lower part of the back of my head. Um, it's cut nice and long in the sleeves, so as I'm reaching forwards, um, the sleeves aren't riding up. It's also cut quite nice and long, covering uh, my back as well. I think it's a, an item that is well worth seeking out on the internet. If you can get hold of one, for the winter, for bushcraft, it's almost ideal. So here it is, an Austrian Army surplus Dachstein guide pullover. Very, very practical garment for bushcraft in the winter woods, where it's gonna be cold and damp. An ideal solution. I hope you enjoyed this video did remember subscribe to our channel till next time stay safe